Hi, my name is Perry Cooper and I'm a 3D and motion graphics designer working in the advertising industry and posting animations regularly to Instagram. In this series I'm going to show you how to create this fun looping factory scene from start to finish using Cinema 4D R20, Octane Render 2020 and After Effects 4 Post. In this video we'll build out all of the other 3D elements that make up the scene before we start animation. Let's get started. So I'm going to uh, create a cube, I'm going to create these two um, walls, so we've got the one on the right and the one on the left, so I'm just going to block those out, so I'm just going to make this uh, 1000 um, by 1300 and uh, by 3000, so this is quite a, a large block, I'm just going to rotate that 90 actually, and we'll move it over here, position wise, I'm going to make that uh, 765 by 600. Um, by 2500 okay and we'll just call this a uh, bridge wall right, I'm going to copy that and then this one is going to be our back wall so I'll call that back wall so this one I'm just going to slightly change the sizes I just want it 120 in the width and let's just go into another angle see what we're looking at 1300 still on the Y and we'll make it 4000 long I'm just going to rotate that back to zero and this is going to be our back wall just put in the position this is going to be minus 1320 600 and 965 and uh, we want to make sure the door is kind of roughly in line with uh, with this so let's make the editable we're going to play mode and let's just kind of cut out a door shape so I'm going to put it like here and here so I kind of want like a rolling shutter that's what I'm going to put in here I'm going to make it make it about this high I'm going to go into this view and see yeah just make sure that's kind of looks kind of right and uh, I'm just going to hide that plane a second because what I'm going to do just to block this out is just delete these sides and then I'm going to go to my bridge tool and just fill all this in like that okay I'm just gonna create another cube and let's bring this up bring it across and I want the uh, the bridge to kind of be like here in this position so that the truck will roll up and it will uh, it will tip it into this container let's uh, add some sides to this so let's just I'm going to select this central loop and to scale these out. We've got equal sides. So I want to select these two and we're going to extrude these up. And I'm going to put this into a subdivision surface. I'm just going to kind of put a couple of cuts in to tighten this up. Add one there, let's add one there and one there. Let's just fix that. So we go to our object here we need to add on cut here to tidy that up let's get a uh, rectangle the height I'm going to change to 600 and that's mainly because I'm going to put a large amount in there what I'm going to do is make this editable don't want to close the spline but um because I want to get rid of the bottom arch obviously we've got a break here so we can change this so we can select this point go to mesh spline and we can set that as the first point then we can delete that mesh spline and change those to hard interpolation now I want to extrude this like 1200 So uh, what I'm going to do is um, put this into a volume builder again because I want to kind of get all those smooth curves. So let's bring in a volume builder and measure and we'll put in our bridge wall and our tunnel and then I'm going to subtract that tunnel. Yeah, so see we've got a nice clean, clean tunnel there. I'm going to grab our tunnel and we don't want closed spline this time. What I want to do is get a rectangle and then a sweep and we're going to run the sweep around that rectangle 
scale it down and this is going to be kind of our archway and what I might actually do is just bring that in a little bit add some rounding maybe more than that like maybe even like 10 and then I might actually make this quite long so yeah we'll make this like 1200 I just want to so I get this positioning correct I'll put the sweep under there I should remember to keep doing this before and then let's pull this back um, so now let's get a cylinder I'm gonna put it under the cube just so I can get it in roughly the right position I want this to come up and that a bit and then I'm gonna duplicate that add some caps add some fillet gonna make it um, maybe like a bit wider and then just like 50 in the height maybe maybe more than that maybe like 70 and then we'll move that up and then duplicate that and we'll have that at the bottom and we'll call this top base group these all that column hmm. Okay, and then we'll position that there. Then we'll just make an instance of that. We'll put position this here. For this wall, I want to put this kind of roller that comes up and down. And I, I want to, again, smooth this out. So I want to use the volume builder, get a cube. And I'm going to make this kind of thin, wide, tall. I just want to make sure this is in the middle. And then I'm going to get my builder and measure throw both of those in there we want to subtract so now we see we've got this cut out here so the roller is going to kind of like sit in that cut out so for the roller what we'll do is get a cylinder and we'll change this to plus z so what i want to do is get a mograph cloner get that in the right position and so we've got it roughly there let's make that Make that 20 and then up the amount and then that is going to be that's basically our roller I'm going to take my bridge and I'm actually going to use it in this instance as a wall I'm going to call this inner wall and I only need one wall because um, that's all we're going to see I will take this around and put this in position move this up and I'll probably like having that bit of detail of having that edge at the bottom and that's enough so I'm going to grab that um that bridge again and uh, I'm going to use it over here I'm going to use it to kind of create a shelf that we're going to kind of sit objects on and I'm just going to position it in here maybe just like there maybe on this one I will also make it wider so we don't kind of see the back of it just trying to kind of reuse objects then what I want to do is I'm going to duplicate this again and then I'm going to rotate that through 90 duplicate that again and I'm going to use this just to kind of give us some extra detail on the top of this wall so I'm just going to bring it along And we'll rename these um, wall panels. And I'm going to stick these in the back wall. Right, so uh, before we do anything else, let's just um, make these back walls editable. So let's just um, go to the bridge wall and the back wall. I'm going to change the adaptive up to like 0.5 just so we kind of get a cleaner mesh and, and less, less polygons. And I'm going to go rogue and just say, yeah, I'm happy with those and make them editable. Let's um, bring in a rectangle. So I'm going to make this like 2000 by 2000. And then for rounding, I'm going to say like 400. Because I'm going to make this now editable. Uh, I'm going to turn off close spline and then just delete the points that we don't need. And then I just want to make sure this is kind of centered. Um, and then what I want to do is get a circle and um, get a sweep. And then let's put both of those in together. Let's just change our plane. There we go, XZ. 
And then let's just move this into position. Go maybe to the side. Let's just take the scale of this down to like 160, maybe 165. And just look at how that looks. Yep, cool. And then I'm just going to kind of position this down a little bit. When we make this glass, um, at the minute it's completely solid object. So we could um, just remove the caps just like that. But then obviously we've got something super thin, so we don't want to do that. Uh, so what I want to do is actually duplicate this circle. And then I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller, like 160. Bring that in. Then these two objects I'm going to put into a spline mask. What I want to do is not a union. We want to do A subtract B. There you go. And you can see now we've actually got some thickness to it. Now it's, it's obviously put some um, ridges that we don't need. I'm just going to select both of those, change this down to zero, and that will smooth that out for us. Now the position has changed because that has changed. OK, so let's get the spline mask. Just make sure it's set in the same position as the circles. Put it back in again, and that's back in there. And probably just to be neat, let's get the sweep. Set the position of that, put everything back together again, and then everything is kind of in the proper position. Uh, let's call this tube. And so we kind of, it looks roughly like it's going to later on down the line. I'm going to turn on x ray just so we can see through it. So, what I want to do is probably make some rings. I'll get a tube, and we know the outer is, uh, was it 160? 165. Okay, so let's make the inner radius of this 165. And then maybe 170 uh, will add on a fillet. And then, uh, okay, two and a half is the most it can be. Maybe we can make this one, 185. Just want to have it some, some nice rounding on. And maybe I'll actually uh, make it kind of indent into the glass. So maybe we'll make this 160. With that, we we'll, can get a MoGraph cloner. And I'm going to add in the tube. And then uh, we're going to use this tube spline. I'm going to use that as the guide. So let's make that an object. Run the tube spline. Doesn't look quite right. So what we're going to do is change this to uniform. Let's say 100. Still doesn't look quite right. So what we need to do is just rotate this. We can probably change the orientation. Plus Z probably. There you go. Uh, and then maybe we'll reduce the number of uh, objects, maybe like six. Uh, and I don't like that being curved like that, so I want to change that um, offset. Maybe like that. And what I might do is just um, break this apart, make it editable, and then select this top one, bring him down just so he's kind of in view. So that'll look nicer. Uh, and then the one more thing I want to add on here is we want to duplicate this conveyor belt. So I'm going to copy it. This is going to be called conveyor empty mission going. And uh, let's move this across. I'm going to not have any containers on this one, I don't think. I just want this one to kind of like fill the scene out a little bit. So I'm just going to have it over here. Let's have a look above. Yeah, maybe right here. Right, so that's the main build of the factory. So I think the next thing to do is probably put in, finish dressing the factory, uh, and then we can start animating. Now, I'll just skip forward a few minutes. Um, I've just taken the container that we've got on the conveyor belt, duplicated that, and uh, dropped that into some cloners and uh, put them on the back wall on that shelf on the back right and then through the door so it kind of fills out our scene a bit so it looks like there's more going on. I just want to create these uh, stop signs that are going to kind of uh, going to go in front of the trucks. So I think I'll start off with a cube and let's change this down to like uh, 100 by 100 and maybe like 25 in height. I'm going to bring this up, sit it there, and make that editable. And then I think I will extrude this in. 
to an inner extrude. Then I'm going to bring this up by like a hundred. There, maybe a bit more. So one one five. And then I want to split the top. So um, I'm just going to do a couple of cuts. It's two cuts, even. Grab these two. And then I'm going to extrude that up so it kind of we've kind of got like a square on either side like that. And I'm going to put this into a subdivision surface. So let's just put that in, see what that looks like. And I want to PSR that. That's all centered up. Uh, and then we're going to need to just make some cuts just to tighten this up. So I'm just going to tighten up these edges. Yeah. Do one here. Here. We'll do a bit of tightening there. I think I'll cut across here. That's kind of like our stop sign. Um, and then I want to kind of put a, a barrier here. So I'm going to uh, create a cylinder. I'm just going to PSR that just so it's in the right position. And then what I'll do is do this in no, plus X. Bring this up and I want this to kind of be, um, we want this to rotate. So I want this to be centered. So let's scale this down a little. Scale this down a little. This down. And then what I'm going to do is we'll just make this maybe like 12. And I'm going to make that editable. Select all and just optimize. And I'm going to grab these two points, extrude those just a tiny amount, just like 0.1. Then just grab and actually pull them along instead. So this will be our kind of like barrier. And I want to make these kind of squared off. So the size on Z, we're going to make that zero and uh, I'm going to put this into a subdivision surface so let's call this um, stop sign um, main and then this cylinder I'm going to get a subdivision put that in there and then we're just going to need to make a couple of cuts to tidy this up just put one there. Maybe we'll put like one here. And then maybe just one right down the middle. Just to tighten that up. Nice. Use our positioning. And then we've got that rotating. And then what I might do is uh, we'll call this. Uh, So that's going to be our part that actually moves. I'm going to get another cylinder. Just going to PSR that again. I want to go in the plus, yeah, plus X. And let's just scale this down. Kind of make this kind of stick out. So this is kind of like the, the edge of it. Bring this in, that out. Put the fillet on there, just like maybe five like that goes through and then I'm going to duplicate that through that out and just scale that down and then make round that off a bit more so that's kind of like I'll stop sign pole and uh, we'll call this uh, axis and then we'll group all these objects together. So object, group object, and we'll call this stop sign. Okay, and now I'm going to duplicate that. So we're going to make this kind of sit just in front of here. And what I want to do is uh, make a copy. And we'll put another one down here. Let's go to our icon we want to kind of be where they where our truck kind of stops here then moves forward and 
uh, I'm going to call that position one, position two. Then what I want to do is actually just to add some more in here, I'm going to copy both of these. And then under the coordinates, I'm going to change this to minus one, minus one. Yeah. And I'm just going to position these the other side. So it kind of like fills this out a bit. Let's turn this off. Zoom out a little bit. Change our angles slightly. Add our protection tag on. So that's I'm kind of happy with those. Um, so the only other, what I might do actually is, um, I'm going to say this, these are going to be static. These aren't actually going to move, so. Okay. There's our position one, position two. I'm going to group these, I'm going to call these stop signs. Okay. Uh, position one and static, I oh know, position two and static. Let's call these actually static two, static one. For these two, I might just maybe change the position of these slightly. I'll leave it there. Okay, that is that. So I might just um, now I want to add in this kind of this pump that's going to be above here where we're going to kind of um, pump something into the back of the uh, truck. So I'm going to add in this sphere. I'm going to make this like 200 and I want it to sit above the truck. So let's do camera top. Let's do that here. Maybe let's look from the right. I want it to kind of be above. Maybe we'll move everything along. So let's move this. Along. Yeah, no, we'll put it there. Like there, like that. I'm gonna up this to like a hundred, and then I'm gonna we're gonna add in some X particles, kind of liquid or some some something in the bottom. But for the moment, we can just kind of make it look correct, and then we'll work that out later. So I'm gonna add a couple of cylinders. Bring one down here, and and I think what I'll do is get a tube, put that onto the cylinder, bring this down, and scale this. This is going to be like the, the outer edge. This. In. In. Then I just want to round that off to kind of make that look nicer. I'm going to up all of the rotation segments on these so they're nice and smooth. We'll call these ones pipe. And maybe this outer one I'll just crease a little bit more and then we'll just up that. That is going to pour into the back of our truck. Yeah, nice. That's going to be where our liquid pours in. And um, what I might do is copy this pipe. We're going to make this one like a cap. Scale this down. And then I'm going to scale that up. And this is going to kind of be a lid that opens to let the liquid out. I'm going to make this maybe a little bit higher. That. Okay, and then what I'll do is um, group this. Oh no. 
going to duplicate this. Move this in, uh, what, plus X. And I'm going to scale this right down. Let's say like 10. And bring this over and kind of make this like a hinge. So let's just put one on here in between. And the caps, I'm going to take that down to like five. Now that. And then I'm going to just duplicate and just put a little bit here. So it's just like a suggestion of a hinge. Just call that hinge. Uh, and that will be the rotation point for the cap. So if we group that, call that cap, add that in, then that gives us that rotation. Yeah. And that tube, I'll just call that funnel end. Okay. And that's that. I might actually make all of this a little bit thinner. So let's um, make this 50. And then we'll just scale this down actually. Not the cap, we'll put that in there. I'm gonna scale all of this like that. A bit too intense, I think. Yeah, that's cool. And I'll just put a little kind of couple of toruses on just to kind of have an edging in between in between like this bag. This is gonna be a bag that kind of squeezes all of the liquid out. I'm gonna add one in there. And then we're gonna add one at the top. And then I just like to kind of stack these in a way as they are built. So I can kind of, when I go back, I kind of know what ones I'm looking at. I'm just gonna call those um, edge. And then I'm gonna group all these and call that funnel. And then this, I'm gonna group that, and we're gonna put that in a group called effectors. Now floor will go at the bottom. That is kind of all of our modeling elements. We obviously want to bring in another truck here and then another truck that's going to animate around the corner, but we can do that in our next bit of animation. Then our back wall, our door is in there. What I might do is add in a couple of traffic lights here. I think I'm just going to, in addition to these stop signs, I'm going to add in a little traffic light. So I think what I'll do is, um, Bring in another cube. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring in a cylinder just to kind of mix it up so it's not just uh, all squares. Add this in the middle. Bring this up so that's sitting on the surface. Maybe I'll make that the same. So that was 25. So I'll make this 25 as well. Like that. Uh, I'm going to make this just eight and then um, break that apart select all optimize then I'll do a loop selection here I'm gonna bring this in and extrude up maybe a bit more actually bring that in to like there then we're gonna extrude up it's gonna be like our traffic light pole Make this like here. Let's just see what that looks like. Maybe like that. And I think what I'll do is maybe we'll have kind of a something sticking on the front. So maybe I should actually uh, do a loop selection and we'll scale that down a little like that. We'll just put a couple of knife cuts here. And I'll put a subdivision surface on that so it's all kind of nice and smooth. And we want another cut there. And then I want to put a panel on the front and then that's going to have our lights on it. So let's just get our cube. 
Let's bring that into position. And I want to scale that down. Maybe that might look nice actually sticking on there like that. Let's bring that out a little. And then what I'll do is I'll change this to uh, free, free, free. And that'll give me some pre done cuts and put this underneath. And I'll call this uh, pole. And call this um, lights. Probably don't need it to be as long as this because we just want a couple of lights on this bring that up and then uh, I think what we'll do is just go and get a cylinder put that on PSR that and we'll go plus X it right now let's scale that right down and then this is going to be our kind of like traffic light we're either going to red or green so we can do an emission texture to make that an actual light let's make both of those like 20 like that and we'll put a fillet cap on there that'll be our structure that's quite simple uh, what we could do is maybe add a bit of detail to this turn this off maybe we'll um let's grab couple of lines here one here what I might do is actually screw these out a bit it looks like we've got some sort of, uh, covering so let's extrude that what I do is the these and bring those in see what that looks like yeah then my, what I might then do is just grab these points these and just bring that up a little like that that a lot yeah, then we got our little little traffic light. I might just change this a little. Let's just turn this off. And then I'm just going to get the edge tool and just select these and kind of bring these up so there's kind of a smoother curve. Let's grab both of those and then we could kind of do that. And we've got this kind of curve going on. I think that's probably enough for this. I want to add on a little bit of extra detail. What I might do is just go to our pole and maybe we'll just put a cut in here. And then uh, get another cut here. And then I'm going to do a loop section here and here. Scale this in. Like that. Turn this off. Oh. And then I want to put a cut there and a little cut there. Then I want to select this part out a little. Yeah. Um, and then maybe bring, let's get the lights, we'll do a group that. And these, I think what I might do is, yeah, we'll I'll add this into the stop sign with these and we'll call this one uh, stop and go we'll group those traffic light we'll call that two and then I want to get traffic light one and this one is going to go 
over here so it's kind of similar so just add some more detail We've just got some more going on in our scene might just have it like one might grab that and just slightly change maybe we'll put it in right in the middle in the middle yeah we'll do that yeah that looks good so it gives us a bit of extra detail going on there so if our lights go on and off and we'll have our sign move up and down and we've got our pump here okay so this is probably kind of set up for animation now so let's save i hope you enjoyed this tutorial in the next video we'll make a start on animation if you haven't already please subscribe to the youtube channel and stay tuned for new videos